All right, we're going to start recording here. We're going to start putting ourselves up on Facebook. So let me just, uh, what? Return and we can try again. Oh boy. <clears throat> here we go. We will try this again. Okay, more live on Facebook. Yeah, uh, share to my timeline next. Yeah, and uh, zooming, 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 preparing live stream preview. Who knows what's going to happen here? There we go. Now, let's see here. Do I get it? Okay, say something. Boom, 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 paste. Okay, that's the zoom paste thing, and then I go, uh, Alex Bennett's. Uh, and it's um, Zoom edition. Okay, that's the best way to put it. And then say go live. Okay, so now it's going to try going live. Um, it says meeting is now Zooming on uh, Facebook. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it's going. There we go. Are we up? Who knows if we're up or not? Wait a minute, hold on a second, let me go look. Are we? Uh, yeah, there we are. Okay, we're up, okay. We're now streaming on Facebook. So, uh, hi everybody, how are you? Uh, welcome to our little, this is our, let me just adjust this just a little bit here. Okay, and let's see if anybody calls me today um, because we're doing this live. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh, but I want to change a few things here. Logitech camera. Let me see here. I want to, I want to, uh, change the settings here. It has to go wide screen. There we go. And then I don't want it to autofocus. Oh, well, I was trying to autofocus. So oh, it's not now. Okay. So is any, oh, one, uh, participant. Uh, here comes, uh, Shecky. Let's see. Uh, hey, Shecky, how are you? Can you hear me? Oh, wait a minute. I can't. I'm on one side of Courthouse Square. Wait a minute. Right. No, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You got to turn something off here. Da, 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 da. Got to do a few things here. Okay. Now I will be able to hear him, I think. Uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, da, da, da. And we're, uh, yeah, technically we're there. You there, Shecky? I am here, Ben. He's there, just Shecky and I. Okay. Did you hear and log native man got fired today? Who? And log native man on the flash. Elongated man on the flash got fired? The actor. The actor. Why did he get fired? Uh racist and homophobe tweets years ago. Yo. I know. We're at that point. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think there's a certain area, if it happened years ago, of forgiveness if the person has seen and changed his ways. Yeah. And um, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Uh, and I think it is just a company protecting their ass when that happens. Well, we're at that point, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, where if you fart, you're never going to work again. Right. Right. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's pretty terrible. Actually, if you want to be honest about it. Uh, I just, I think that... Uh, and I don't know the man. So, I mean, I can't speak for what... Well, I mean, what, what's, you know, I'd say if it was like in, within the last year and he did this... Or the it, last month. Or even in, during the time that he was hired by them. Okay. Then they're responsible for his action. But, I mean, come on. Uh, if you held everybody against them for something they said or did 20 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, it was a different time and place. Different yeah. sensibilities. But no, I just read that about 10 minutes ago. Wow. So no more elongated man on the flash. And no more Batwoman. And no more Batwoman because she, she quit. And she's being recast as a different character. What do you mean? Really? Yeah, they're going to have a different character name playing Batwoman next season whenever they come back. Really? Hmm. Oh, that's... No, we're not going to recast 
her as whatever Kate Kane or whatever the name of that person was. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they're, and they're, so they're going to call her something else and she's going to pick no, up. No, she'll be Batwoman, but it'll be, you know, Marjorie Bennett, you know. Right. Right. Okay. All yeah. right. You know, but I, mean, I wonder how many people we're going to get today because uh, people are going back to work now. Are they really? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're back. We're we're here in New York City, I guess. Now, is Marjorie working today or still at home? Still at home. She's probably going to be home for quite a bit of time. She's not going back till the other people in her office go back, and they don't want right. to go back yet. Right. Yeah. And my office, the girls are working from home. Trost is working from Los Angeles. And we're doing okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I think Marjorie's kept the company going okay by doing it from home. I think there's something she says she's got to do it at work that she has the materials there. But, but she could go in on a Sunday for half an hour, get what she needs. Yeah, yeah. You either that or go in one day a week to do what you got to do from there. But I, yeah. mean, it, it, I question as to whether it's worth the, the company paying for the real estate we're, well, we're, that's we're, the thing where Trust, we were thinking of getting rid of the office mm -hmm. and decided to re-sign for another year or two. Mm -hmm. But now we're finding we're doing okay with the girls working at home, yeah. Mark working in L.A., and me, you know, sitting on the porch reading. Yeah. By the way, let me just tell anybody who's watching right now, if you want to join us in any kind of conversation, because I'm just doing this for the fun of it. And, and there's Marjorie. There's Marjorie in back of me. Uh, well, Shecky's the only one I have on now. Hey, Shecky! So I may as well have just Part call three. Yeah. We were look, talking about you. Look, the gray-haired old lady. Look at her. Eight months. I don't care. I think she looks fine. Yeah, she looks great. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, Squirrel. Yeah. But, you know, getting back to the political correctness of everything, I find it just... Um, no, it's getting to the point of it's ridiculous. Yeah. And as you know, I always say to you, I hate Trump as much as I hate de Blasio. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I hate de Blasio. I watched de Blasio and I watched him yesterday, the day before yesterday, it was okay. Did he uh, announce that we had no deaths in New York City? No, I think Cuomo announced that. Or maybe he did. I don't know. I think he did because Cuomo said like a couple of days, 42. He didn't, Cuomo today didn't give us a number. Mm. Okay. I don't watch him. You do. It, it might have been so low that he didn't want to give it. Worth mentioning. Huh? It's not worth mentioning then. Well, not, it's not that it's not worth mentioning, but the people will suddenly get frisky. You know, go, oh, okay, well, there are no deaths now. Or we're down to but they've minutes. already gotten that way with these protests, where you know five thousand people are marching up and down wherever they're marching. You know. Well, there's two two things going there. Most of them were married, wearing masks. It was outside. It was outdoors. I don't know. I saw a lot of pictures with no masks, but you know, look. Yeah, but I wear the mask as I've said to you well, as a sign of respect to other people. Well, they have tested in New York State. They've tested each day about 60,000 people, okay? And of that, about only 1% come up positive, yeah. which is a, you know, means that if you had all those people marching and they, there was only a 1% chance in there, it's not enough that it's gonna become an epidemic, okay? Yeah, I mean, I don't have an answer to that. Well, well the, but... governor, the governor has asked that, that the public uh, go out and, um, uh, you know, get tested. Uh, who, if you marched, just to protect the person you've marched with. Hello, Mandy. Here's Mandy. She was like one of our early callers. I, I, I kind of do this show uh, on on Skype, uh, not Skype on uh, Zoom for Mandy because I know she doesn't. She probably can't get here at ten o'clock at night. <laughs> it's like me also. I don't want to go on Skype. What can I tell you? Yeah, this is so much easier. I, just, I was watching and I just wanted to jump in real quick and say hello that I'm watching, oh. but I am at work. So oh, Okay, well, just keep working. And if you want to jump in and say anything, go ahead. Okay. 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 See? It's nice. It's, it's a little family we're starting here. Yeah. 
I just find it easier. What can I tell you? No, I mean, a, a Zoom is very easy to use. If, you, if you're watching us right now, all you do is you click on that link I have on the picture mm -hmm. and, and uh, you're there. You know, you don't even have to have Zoom installed in your machine. No, I think I had to go to Safari and put the link into it and then it opened right up. Here comes yeah, but all, you know, all you have to do is download the link, yeah. though. I mean, I'm doing this on my phone because I'm not uh, Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The upside of yeah. Zoom is that you, anybody can do it. And the upside is that anybody, the downside is that anybody can do it, including Charlene Martinez. Hello, <laughs> Charlene. Hi, Alex. <laughs> You're in your car, huh? Yes, yes. Oh. So, uh, oh yeah, close the door so they don't know what's going on in here. <laughs> Yeah, you're having an affair with the janitor. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but you know, all we were talking about political correctness, and and uh, Sheck, he was bringing up that this guy plays a character on uh, Arrow, uh, on Flash. The Flash. Yeah, uh, got fired because of some tweets or something he did years ago, like twenty years ago. And the question is, okay, if they're racist then, what's he like now? Is there no yeah. such thing as redemption? You know, I mean. Well, they just had a Zoom call here for some of the employees here about watching what you say and being very careful in this climate. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, are we not all adults? I mean, do they think we're dumb? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It, well, is it wrong for me to say, for instance, that Al Sharpton still pisses me off? <laughs> no. You know, he gave a great speech at that at that funeral, and mm -hmm. uh, but I still think he's uh, you know he's a civil rights ambulance chaser, mm -hmm. um, and 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 has contributed not a hell of a lot to the black community, not like some other people have over the years. So I guess I'll never be able to work at CBS ever, okay? Um, something I was going to mention is Shecky. I, I saw a movie. I was going to call you about this movie. I saw what perhaps one of the worst movies ever made. Yeah. Uh, you, you'll know it immediately, and you'll probably agree with me. Show of shows. It's a dreadful movie, but I like it. Why? Because it's so dreadful? Because it's all those people in 1929 yeah trying like i like the holiday review of 1929 yeah yeah that's fine but i'm talking about this you watch this oh, thing. it was a very bad movie and frank Faye, yeah. you know who was a white leader yeah and you know he used to beat barbara stanwyck how why what, he oh, did he beat barbara stanwyck that yeah, was his wife at the time oh i see okay all right. But I mean, is this was like what Warner Brothers third movie or something in sound? Well, no, is they all, as you know, they all made that all star movie that year. King of Jazz, Hollywood Review, Fox Movie Tone Follies, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the case of King of Jazz, it was a great film. Yeah. yeah but they, they went a different way when they made that. Yeah, it wasn't that static, and, you know. No, but Show of Shows was, it was not a very good movie. Yeah. Shecky is the expert on yeah. long film stuff. On most film stuff. Well, uh, like last and, night I watched but, uh, I the West Point story with Jimmy Cagney and Doris Day. Yeah. And I finished with Tower of London with Basil Rathbone and Boris Karloff. Karloff, yeah. Yeah. Um, did, I, did I watch anything else? I... I ever, I always check with uh, Turner Classic Movies. Yeah. See what they've done in the yeah. last 24 hours, you know. And, well, uh, this is not old, but have you seen Rocket Man? Uh, with uh, with uh, uh, the thing about Elton John? Yeah. I started, I started to watch it this weekend, and I, I stopped it, I'm, but I'm going to go back to it. I stopped because I was bored. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of Mamma Mia. Yeah. Like, I didn't realize it was going to be a musical That's like that. That's a good way to put it, right. It was like Mamma Mia. I didn't really care for it either, right? I thought it would be more of a story of his life, but not with so much, you know, singing. It was, and everybody yeah, broke out into song every time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, what, 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 tell, Mandy, tell everybody what you do again. Uh, I, I'm an accountant mm -hmm. in a real estate company. Mm -hmm. 
We, uh, the company I work for, they own a lot of market centers like brokerages, real estate brokerages, yeah. and properties. Well, how, how has the coronavirus affected your business? It's, we, they were very cautious at the beginning thinking it would, it would affect a lot because no one knew it was the unknown. Um, but the last couple of months it's, it's stayed pretty steady. It's done pretty well. I mean, now June might be telling because usually real estate is 60 to 90 days out or, you know, yeah. Um, but, um, I personally put my house on the market last week and already have a contract on it. Oh, really? Yes. And what, what where are you going to move? Where are you going to move? Well, I've been in an apartment. My husband and I split up last year. So I've yeah. been in an apartment and he's been in the house and we went to sell it. And I, I'm just, I'm going to look when it, it's not such a seller's market because <laughs> it, I, you know, I don't want to pay top dollar. I'm going to sit on my money for a bit. Oh, you don't, I would say now is not a time to sell. Would you check? He check. He's good with money. This isn't a good time to sell a house, is it? Well, in Atlanta, oh. it is. In Atlanta. It has not slowed down really at all. Oh, really? Oh. People, are, people have bought houses without even walking in them. They've looked at them virtually. Wow. Wow. But why would they do that? Do they think there's an upside to it? To uh, the inventory is so low here in the Atlanta area, and it's such a high demand that pe you know, people were buying them even without going in them. Mm. So they think they can make money flipping them or whatever. Like I said, the inventory is just so low and the demand's high to buy houses that no one cared that there was the coronavirus going on. They just but it's, look at the stock market. It's back up to about 28,000 now. It was down to what, 18, 19,000? Mm -hmm. If you just sat and did nothing, you yeah, made most of your back. I look at my stocks. I'm still down I'm still, maybe, maybe 2,500. I'm down like 2% for the year, where I would think I was down like 20% yeah. two months ago. So yeah. I did. Mine went down, my Roth. Yeah, but I think if you have a, a that's like a, it's like a 401k, right? A Roth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Same kind of thing. Because um, uh, I think if you just stayed in the course, you'll be, you'll be fine. You know, you might oh, be yeah. down a little bit for the year, but. Uh, oh, down a couple of years ago too. So you just sit back and eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Back. Well, you, you sat there and you did nothing and you came back and you were at the end, you were better off than you were when you. Right. If I had sold at it down 19,000, I would have lost a great deal of money. Just remember folks, if you go and sell your, your, your stock, when everything starts going down, you're paying that price. You're getting that price. If you stick mm -hmm. with it, it may go back up. So you're better off just, you know. Just being, sitting back and just. Yeah. I mean, my stocks are where they are because I want, I, I, I'll, I'll take them out. If you're in good securities. Uh, what? If you're in good securities, sit back. Well, I mean, I had Vanguard. I needed to, 10 grand to help pay the lawyers on the suit for this apartment. And I took it out just before the whole market crashed. So I, mm -hmm. I pulled it out when the money was at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and that's what they thought that maybe that, that stock market correction was going to affect people buying houses that in, in this area, at least it didn't really seem to affect. Would you call that a correction, Shecky though? Well, she, I mean, like, I'm trying to be nice. I mean, sometimes they call it a correction. <laughs> <do> for a <laughs> Try to be positive. What? But we were due for a correction, but this was also panic selling and mm -hmm. coronavirus, you know, it was, it was a lot of other factors. Yeah. 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 Because well, Dow 30,000 really wasn't where the Dow should have been. But now we're Dow 27 something. So, you is know. It up, is it up again today? <laughs> what? Is it up again today? Yeah, it was up at two, 300 last time I looked. Oh, okay. All right. So, you know. And that's after Trump lied about the jobs numbers on Friday, but you know. How did you, how did you lie about the job numbers? There was some star at the bottom where it was like, oh, those weren't really the numbers. Really? That, yeah, I didn't really read it because, again, I don't care. I mean, there was a, there was a, a kind of a... There was an asterisk. An asterisk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I just heard, I'm, we have a friend uh, and uh, she works at this company and they just let just, people go. 
uh, at, at their company. And they didn't just, you know, this isn't furloughing them. They let them go. Um, we're going to see a lot of that in thing too. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, it, we have a lot of unemployment, but you know, Mr. Trump will do anything to try to get himself reelected. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But uh, do you think he's going to get rid of it? will probably make me money. Okay. I don't like him. I won't vote for him, but he might make me money. Is he making you money or by what he's doing? Or is it just that it, it's happening anyway? I think it might. That's what I go. That's what I vote for. It doesn't have anything to do with him. He, when you send out 200 tweets in a 24 hour period, are you really working on anything with the government and policies? <laughs> no. 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 But is he really sending the tweets, or does he have a little staff that does that for him? I He's not that who these people are that then. He sit there and send out tweets. Well, sometimes they're moronic tweets, so sometimes I think it is. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Other times, when you see them fairly well written and well parsed, it's not him. It's somebody else who's just trying to keep his head above water. <laughs> yes, Charlene. The they, uh, the big thing I've seen is uh people are posting this picture of the White House with uh, like a uh, razor ribbon and all that stuff around it. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's like barricaded and everything. Yeah. But I have signs up now of all the Black Lives Matter people put right. signs on the fence. Yeah. I think that thing that is like, genius of him. I think that thing is wonderful. That whole thing is Black Lives Matter. Uh, leading up uh, what Constitution Avenue, whatever that avenue is, it goes straight to the uh, White House. Yeah. Right. And it's like the city of Washington allowed them to do that and change the name of it to Black right. Matter Plaza. Uh, mm -hmm. Because they, That's where he they, lives now. They, yeah. they don't like Trump. The mayor of D.C. hates Trump. And yep. he hates her. Yeah. Well, because she's a black oh, He woman. hates everybody. <laughs> Except himself. Man she's got two strikes against her in that person's mind you know she I, a Democrat I, I has mario cuomo today as i do every day because i've got nothing else to do with my life but wait for the big show to come on it's the only it's the only show on television that's that isn't in reruns uh, and so i watch it well and, days of our lives is not in reruns no it's <laughs> no it's not but they're going to run out of it soon no they've got shows until december oh really didn't they fire half the cast after that I think they might have, yeah. but I don't watch it, but they film so far in advance, they literally have shows in the can till December. Wow. wow. Okay. But anyway, so, uh, you want soap opera. Anyway, I watch, I watch Cuomo, and today he just said, thank you, New York. You did it. He said, New Yorkers are tough. New Yorkers uh, uh, are, are snarky, and we get, but when, it, when it's time to get the job done, we get it done. Thank you, New York. You did it. You bent the curve. And I sat there and thought to myself, has Trump ever thanked the American public for anything? You know, like, hey, the, the, the stock market went up. Good for you. You did it, America. No, you don't hear that. No, I did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For North Carolina, I'm pulling the convention from you because you won't let 20,000 people sit, seek to jowl next to each other, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Celebrating me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I hadn't heard that. So he actually wants to pull it from them? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. And, uh, he, because they, and how does he even have authority to do that? Well, he, I guess he's... Uh, he runs the Republican National Committee or talks to his little buddy, Skippy or whoever, and says, <laughs> we're moving it. Yeah. Yeah, Charlene. Has he ever um, actually come out and did any kind of a, like a speech or anything like, you know, the way Cuomo comes on? He hasn't even addressed the uh, American public about this at all, right? Except for that photo op, right? Now, I'll tell you why he doesn't. He's incapable of it. He yes. wouldn't know how to if, 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 you know. I mean, here we had a country that literally was on fire. And there was nobody at the helm who was talking to the American public and saying, here's what we got to do. We got to do this. You've got to go into your houses and come out, wear a mask, blah, blah, blah and be the kind of leader that Cuomo was here. Look what Cuomo, whatever you think of Mario Cuomo, and Shecky, I know is in a big Andy, Andrew. Andrew Cuomo, excuse me. 
Okay. Uh, uh, Shecky's not a not a big fan, but you'll have to agree. The no, th- I am to like him, yeah. but I am through not. His, through his leadership here in New York, we brought the numbers down. I mean, mm-hmm. he coaxed everybody. Everybody, you know, we yeah. don't get that from our leader. He goes, "I don't wear a mask because it doesn't make me look good." Ugh. And no, it makes you look better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, and whatever you think of Joe Biden, he flew to Houston today to attend that funeral, you know. But but he is not staying there because he doesn't want to be the center of attention. He just No, I don't think he there. I think he just attended. Right. Did you hear about how they had to throw away all those tests in Maine? Oh, it's Trump Maine. went in there without a mask? Yeah. Well, say this again. I didn't hear that. It was for, like a testing facility. They had to get rid of all of the day's production because he waltzed in there without a mask on. Oh, oh, I see, right. Trump, Trump in Maine on Friday. And he walked into this uh, place where they were testing and for a photo op. And the company and, makes the and test. contaminated the room. God bless yeah. him. You know, that in the way. Uh, just what a moron. Yeah. I, he held the Bible in such an awkward way. I almost right. thought he was he was worried it was gonna catch on fire. Yeah. You know. <laughs> or lightning was gonna come bolt of lightning was gonna yeah. come down. Yeah. I mean that was the worst. I saw a funny meme where the sign like the the St. John sign, you know, where they put the, the schedule up. Somebody put the meme. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> uh if that was one of the worst uh, photo ops since Carrie on the windsurfing. And uh, what was his name? Uh, um, oh, what's his name on the tank? In the tank, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to be careful of your photo ops, especially Dukakis. because people have, people have Photoshop, you know, <laughs> and they could just Photoshop the hell out of these things. You know, and then supposedly Ivanka was carrying the Bible in that giant pocketbook she was walking. Yeah, around. Like fifteen thousand, a fifty fifteen hundred dollar Armani or something like that. Yeah, apparently that's where the Bible was. Yeah, and then you know Barr is still fighting people who say there was tear gas going. Oh, that wasn't tear gas; it was pepper spray. Well, huh? I, I also like the fact that when he held like it up, he- the ribbon was hanging down. Right. Was, mm-hmm. we, and the ribbon is always at the top of it. He was holding it upside down. He didn't even know the right way to hold it. And then he kind right. of looked at it and like, oh, I, this isn't right. And he, he changed. I mean, well, if you had mine comfy, you'd know how to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he should have held that up, right? <laughs> it, was, it was the worst of all time. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, but his face buys it. I mean, it's all like, you know. Well, mm-hmm. they do. Wow. But I, you saw Colin Powell was like, I'm not voting for this man. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw uh, him. Yeah, yeah. Well, he also Colin didn't vote. Powell. He didn't vote for him when he ran last time. He voted for Hillary in the time before he voted for Obama. So he really hasn't voted Republican. Anymore. But he hasn't come out publicly and said right. that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he has. No, right. They just and possibly go. George W. Bush may vote for Obama. Romney. Mitt Romney seems to have more or less said, I'm not voting for this man. Yeah, and uh, there's that uh, that other senator, female uh, McC- McC- McClaskey, the one in Murkowski or whatever her name is. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. in Alaska? Yeah, uh, she says she's not going to vote for for him. I think this is the beginning of a Republican backlash against him because a lot of these people have had it with being associated with his. Well, they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to lose their jobs and they don't want to have to go back to their people and say, yeah, I backed the guy who, you know, said this or that. I mean, he says horrible things. He's just a horrible man. Yeah. Yeah. What can I say? Uh, but, um, On the topic, I went to Costco last Thursday. Yeah, oh, really? Okay. Went for senior hours. Senior hours. Walked, walked right in. And when I checked out, there were two people, one person ahead of me. Wow. I haven't gotten up the guts yet. Well, if I had a car, it'd probably. I don't think you have senior hours at yours. Yes, we do. Oh, you do? Well, they have senior hours at every Costco. Well, mine is like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. So yeah. I'm like, ah, screw it. I'll go. Yeah, I don't know why they do that, though. I mean, do old people, I mean, I don't get up till 10 in the morning. That's, That's my mom. She's a, she does not get up that early. So, it, yeah. Too early. Too no, early. I push myself to get up and out, I admit, now that I'm. But. 
and it was interesting because you know I was in there like eight fifteen. I was at about ten after nine. Went to the liquor store, and when I came to the liquor store, the line was around the corner to get into Costco. Well, I have to get a blood test next week for my you know follow up to my procedure, which was three months ago, and I should have done it after one month, but I wasn't going to go out to that. Thank you. The antibody test there at the same time? No, I, it's not. I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get the, the, I need a blood draw. Uh, no, I know you need it for the um, cancer. Yeah. But at the same time, can you have that facility? No, they don't do, they don't do the, they the, don't do it. The testing there for that. Okay. They, they do have other places that they do do it. But I'm going at 9.15 in the morning so I can get in with their senior thing. Well, same thing. Get in and get out. And I was yeah. home by like, 10, 15 on Thursday. So I, I finally decided to do it next Monday because uh, I, the coast is somewhat clear now. In fact, I'll tell you what I did yesterday. I actually went down to Popeye's and bought, <laughs> and bought dinner. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, you know, I came home and autoclaved myself, but you know. Well, I got two lobsters from Fresh Direct, so I had a very nice Sunday. Well, we can get lobsters from Fresh Direct, can't you? Yeah. Seven ninety-nine a pound. Anybody here use Fresh Direct besides mm -hmm. Jackie and I? No, I always I want to. Up in, in New York. I'm trying to remember. I've, I've done a meal thing before. My daughter sent me like the free, like you get three days or something, and I can't like remember fresh if it's like or something like that or something. Yeah. yeah, Fresh Direct is. I'm amazed at how good some of their prepared meals are. Mm -hmm. I'll, I like kept the recipes. Like, yeah. yeah. But they, they send you little recipe cards and I, I kept them. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm telling you, we, we had something else the other night and I went, this is just not right. A place like this should kind of just be mediocre. And it wasn't mediocre. It was really. No, they also bought, I also bought calves liver. I haven't made that yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so it's like, eh. the, last, <laughs> the last person in America who loves calves liver. Love calves liver. Yeah. I'm sure it's really good for you, but I'm... My mother used to make cans. Mine too, yeah. But With I onions. And usually food your mother makes becomes your comfort food. Well, right. chopped liver. Love chopped liver. Yeah, chopped liver is fine, but that isn't calf. Is that calf's liver? No, no, that's not calf's liver. It's chicken liver. That's chicken liver. Yeah, that I like. That that's fine, but I you know you want to make me a calf's liver? I'm sorry, I'm. Uh, no, it's calf's liver with onions and I, bacon. Nothing. Onions, better. bacon. Right, right. My mother used to make that. I like you, Shecky, but I would never come to your house for dinner. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, if it's liver. <laughs> but you do make other. I stuff. just thought the only thing I know about chopped liver is what am I? Chopped liver, like. Yeah. Right. Where, where did that? I was thinking that too. Right. Come from? Just chopped liver. And why would like, some people really why, eat? Why is you being mediocre or whatever? necessarily chopped liver isn't that really giving chopped liver a bad name that's what i mean i've just always thought if you that said on facebook you'll lose your job somewhere yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what i was watching i was watching supergirl again a show neither person here besides shecky and i watch and i they have a a, a superhero who's transgender I mean, we're really getting politically correct now. Oh. Uh, and you told me, Shecky, that person was in fact transgender. Yes, yes, she did. And I looked up her what? story, and it is true. But you could fool me. Yeah, hmm. you, know? you almost have to look for the Adam's apple. There's yeah, some transgenders. You go, come on. Yeah, what? Unless they have it shaved, they have that surgery that uh, Caitlyn Jenner had her Adam's apple shaved. Really? And, and, yeah. I Ooh. when I uh, I got to know in my early days all the all the all the uh, transsexuals, the transvestites, in uh, Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. Okay. Yeah. And they were different. And the, there was Jackie Kerr. Uh, there was well, there was there was Candy Darling, who was just gorgeous. And when she came into a room, you treated her just like a like any woman you would see, kiss her hello and how are you and so on. She was just, she carried herself with a wonderful bearing. And then you had Holly Woodlawn, who was kind of comedic and was kind of almost 
doing a woman, but a comedic version of a woman. It was almost like he was making fun of women. And then there was Jackie Curtis. And Jackie Curtis didn't even care about being a transgender. He would like go unshaven for several days, but wear a dress. It was just, you know, <laughs> these different types of transgenders. And um, they all had a, a different way of acting. This woman on, on Supergirl is just so convincing that it's almost, it was almost hard for me to believe. That you have to be told trans she's transgender. Yeah, yeah. Because, or actually transgender. Because you told me she was transgender, and I looked at her the last couple of weeks. You know. So it's the character of Supergirl is a transgender, the actor, the actress, the actor. No, 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 it's not the play Supergirl. This is, what does she play? She plays. I uh, can't think of the name of her now, yeah. of that woman. Another yeah. character? Yeah, it's another I superhero. But in the comic. Didn't you say? You got me wanting to watch it now, so I could uh, see the transgender. Say she actually went on Supergirl on, uh, in the comics. They had that same character as a transgender. I don't believe so, but I must admit I haven't read a comic in more than a year now. Yeah. Now that's I, some, that's something I, to say because you're how old and you just gave them up a year ago? Up a year or two ago. <laughs> <laughs> because they're just not that interesting, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'd rather watch The Flash, you know, with without an elongated man. <laughs> without an elongated man. Um, so I, I, I guess where you are, Mandy, you're actually working from your office. So your office mm -hmm. is open as usual, basically. Oh yeah, I, I was in here the whole time. I was like one of the essential employees, and I live very close to the office. So it was just me and the owner. And one other man here. Oh, okay. So, so they, and everybody else worked from home, but now almost everybody's back. There's still some people that are still out. Yeah. Uh, one of our brokers is 65, and so there's an executive order through June 12th in here in Georgia. The governor governor submitted or put out till June 12th. Anybody over 65 had a shelter in place still. Oh, wow. June 12th. wow. Okay, so because wow. because we heard about Georgia kind of opening up everything and. Yeah, but then like almost immediately, it's like, oh, but wait. So those people came back for one day. Yeah. <laughs> May 1st. And then after, then he put the order out that day and then they went back out. What? Anybody that had under like any kind of asthma, heart conditions, if you were overweight. Yeah. Um, there was uh, some other things, but that actually applied. Diabetes. There was a couple it, it, of people. Oh, co comorbidities or something they call that, right? Yeah. It, the one he called went up like crazy in uh, Georgia. The, uh, the yeah, all of a sudden, when they started loosening up, it started getting worse. You know, our governor is mm -hmm. very careful. He says, we look at the metrics. He says, if the metrics change and it looks like it's starting to spread again, we're back to putting, you know, closing down businesses and putting you back indoors, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, but so everybody wear a mask. And I went out today and uh, I find, found clumps of people who didn't were in close proximity to each other, not wearing masks. You know. Yeah, and they, you know, there's protests going on. I'm, I'm, a little, I, I'm all for the protests, but, you know, I'm conflicted because it's like, but we're still in a pandemic situation. Why are you? I think like all of a sudden that's, where it's happened, it's going to cause a problem. I think it's yeah. like New York where we've managed to almost kill the virus by not letting it spread. The, those demonstrators probably are fairly safe, but they should all get tested and they should all not get near grandma for you know, about 14 days to make mm -hmm. sure that they, they don't spread it if they have, it, you know. Right. I mean, some people just have the idea, ah, I'm only 30, if I get it, uh, it's a bad flu and that's it. Oh, but you get grandma. Yeah. There's too many other things I've discovered about it to me that's scary, that it can cause other things, even like an otherwise healthy person like me, it can cause a like blood clot, some things like that. You just don't know. Strong. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And you said you're over 50, right? What? Did you say you were over 50 when you called? Yeah, I'm 54. 54. So, you know, everybody over 50 is somewhat has a mm -hmm. problem. But yeah. the older you are, I mean, like, I just, I, I didn't want to, you know, I, I had to be very careful at my age. You know, mm -hmm. I just, it just, I couldn't do it. Um, I couldn't take the chance. I, I didn't take the chance to go get my blood test, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I, and I wasn't afraid about me. I was afraid about other people. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I wear the mask and I hate it. 
but it, to yeah. me, it's a respect for other people. And listen, exactly. the mask is not fun. Neither is a condom, but sometimes you got to wear them. Exactly. <laughs> People have equated it, like women say, it's equated to like taking your bra off when you get home. So I can't wait to wear that mask off. <laughs> you know, again, leaving Costco and I get in the car and the mask comes right off while I drive mm. home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we went out today and I find when I'm walking, it makes breathing a bit harder. You yeah. know, I kind of feel like I'm short of breath because of the mask. But uh, I've worked the whole time. I came back. Of course, it comes off. It's like, it's even, I don't know what it's like to take a bra off, but I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and really, it's just it's nice that you got rid of it, you know? Yeah, but you do it, to me, as I say, out of respect to other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, but uh, uh, anyway, I was amazed at a lot of people who weren't wearing them. Uh, and a lot of them were black. Uh, but then again, I live in a very predominantly black neighborhood. So if you're going to see people without masks, good chance they're going to be black. That, that's strange, Alex, because when I see um, some black people here, some of them have really intense masks, you know, that mm -hmm. are, uh, they look almost like a gas mask or something. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, black people are you know, more affected by it, right? Because they have like more comorbidity or something than some white well, people do. Well, so. There are several factors involved and why it has disproportionately affected the black community. One of the largest is, is that a lot of them live in projects. And if you want to talk about close contact with other people, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you just take the elevator with, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, uh, uh, in a project. And, or an apartment building. Huh? Or an apartment building. Or an apartment building like ours. I mean, I, for the whole month or so, four, three months, if I got in my elevator, uh, and there was somebody already there, I just go say go and then send it up because I didn't want to be in the elevator with them because there's no way you can be six feet apart in an elevator. I still yeah, wear the good. gloves when I go out. That's a good tip, Alex, because they really aren't telling people what to do if they have to get into an elevator. You're right. You shouldn't get in to a packed elevator at, at all. That would be stupid, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so, don't get, catch that if you want. Yeah, you want to be the only one in the elevator, to tell you the truth. But you can't control that, of course. And I, I always wear the gloves because I don't know where, you know, when I'm touching the, you know, I, and I know that twice a day they come and clean the elevators, disinfect, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but, and, uh, but nevertheless, I don't trust that, okay, they disinfect them. Now somebody comes who's got it, and now it's there. You know, it's not like... Mm -hmm. That what they're doing, though, you know what they're doing in the subway? The subway cars are being disinfected, and then they also have a antimicrobial thing that they do over the... Blu-ray or something or no, other. No, no, it's an actual mist of some sort that permeates the uh, surfaces and mm -hmm. prevents... We had that. Somebody come in our office and do that a few yeah. times. Yeah. So the subway may wind up being the safest place in New York to be. Right. You know, clean as it, it's ever been, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, what was never been about it? I remember the days when subway car clean. Are you out of your mind? It smelled horrible, and uh, there were coffee cups all over the place. You know, people. <laughs> yeah, their trash. This, but a lot of that is getting of the homeless that were living in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Cuomo said we got to do something about that. He said, you know. Number one, they shouldn't have to sleep in a subway car. No, no, they shouldn't have to. And I don't have an answer of what you do, but yeah, many of them have mental problems and other. Well, Cuomo was involved when he, in other political things that he's done in his career with welfare for homeless people and how you handle that. So he, he has a few plans on how he's going to handle it. But then where's the money come from to pay for all this? I mean, the way I look at it, the plaza is probably pretty empty right now. So uh, why don't we put it up there? <laughs> yeah. They'll enjoy that, yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to call this uh, 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 off right now. Uh, but I, I like to do it just every now and then on a Monday, you know. And then Mandy calls and Shecky calls, and I, I get people that I usually never get who are good contributors. Um, 
Shecky likes it because it turns out now it's, it's so simple, but all he has to do is just push a button and he's. And also, seriously, <laughs> people who are on your, these calls. Huh? Well, you what? I like the people who were on these calls. Yeah. Been doing yeah. They're very Zoom. Yeah. So anyway, uh, nice to see you again, Mandy. Please call again. I will. Oh, always a pleasure. Uh, um, uh, Shecky, thank you. And Charlene, <laughs> thank you very much. Been a nice little, little group of people. Thank you all for being with us. Okay. Talk to you soon, Ben. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. bye. Okay. And there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, kind of citizens panel for uh, right now. Right now. Uh, Charlene's got to hang up. I mean, we all hang up on her. Here. Wait, what, what can we do? Uh, let me see here. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Oh, she already got rid of herself. Okay. So we're back again here. And it's me. And that's it for now. Um, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just remove her. Okay. Remove. Oh, boom. You want to remove? Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now right, you got me. Just only me. Okay. Uh, and it was fun having a nice talk there. I just wanted to see if a lot of people would call. Uh, and we'll, we'll do it maybe next Monday just for the hell of it. And um, in the meantime, uh, have a nice day. And everybody out there, just, you know, wear a mask. Okay. And be safe. And uh, the end of this thing, at least in New York, is almost in sight. But don't get cocky. All right? Everywhere else, please be safe. Thanks for watching our little gathering here. Bye-bye.